I don't know why anyone would want to call himself Cash. I really can't understand it. I can't. Hello lovely people, welcome back to Real Life with Abby. My name is Abby Mbola. Thanks for stopping by. So if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thanks for doing so. It's really, really good to see you again. And please don't forget to turn on your notification button so you can be notified when I post new videos. Okay, so today we're discussing this um, arrest of this Nigerian men who apparently have defrauded Tur the, the Turkish, uh, some companies in Turkey and they've been arrested. Let's just watch this video of their arrest and then we'll discuss. Okay, so you've seen this video. Apparently, the Turkish police arrested and detained these uh, people, these um, members of an international criminal network, which was funded by a popular Nigerian man known as the big boy Otumba Cash. I don't really know why anyone would want to uh, change his name to Cash. Why did anyone want to be called Cash? I really don't know. This guy's real name is Emmanuel Aneke. That's the name his parents gave him. But he decided he doesn't want to bear that name anymore and changed his name to Otunda Cash. Um, the problem actually started when the Danish police warned the Turkey counterpart through Interpol sometime in May that the email system of a Denmark-based Turkish company had been breached and over $1.4 million and fake invoices had been sent to a front company in Turkey. So three of the Turkish company's employees were arrested and so were five Nigerian men. They were arrested in um, a five-star hotel and luxurious residences in Istanbul in Turkey. So Otumba Cash <laughs> has been accused of hacking into international companies' emails and he, what they said they've done is that they've duplicated the websites and they've committed fraud through this means. So... Ane, Ane K or Otumba Cash has so many luxurious um, luxury cars. He has um, he would five necklaces worth over sixty five thousand dollars were seized from him, and so there were other expensive expense uh, sorry expensive accessories, and um, as you can see in the in this photograph. So these people they live lavishly. They spend money like there is no tomorrow. Uh, look at the long neck heavy necklaces and the big pendants that they're wearing you know this this is normally used by the rapper artists in in the usa but these people have decided to live that type of lifestyle to use those heavy looking jewelries and all that i'm sure those necklaces are uh they're not fake they must be di diamond or gold or whatever they are and I can't imagine how much this uh, necklace will, will go for if they are sold or if they are valued. Okay, I need you to watch this video of them spraying money, throwing money around. You know, nobody actually worked for money. 
works hard for money and spends it this way and listen to what the guy is saying in the video Okay, so you've seen this video. If you don't understand Yoruba, um, he's saying Olowolon Soro. So Olowolon Soro means the rich man is talking. And when the rich man talks, everyone else needs to zip it, shut up. So basically that's what he's saying. He's a rich man. He is the one talking. He's been sprayed money. Look at the way they are throwing money around like you know definitely that they haven't worked for the money so because if they worked hard for this money they wouldn't really treat money the way they're treating money and no one would he wouldn't open his mouth to, mouth to say oh no sorrow a rich man that worked for the money does not talk that way you respect your money because you've worked hard for it but obviously these people have not worked hard for their money so what do you think about these people like they say it's every day for the thief it's just one day for the owner of the house they've been caught now definitely they will go to jail and what happens when they come out of jail all their properties everything that they've spent the money on will be seized mostly most likely everything they've spent this um this um dubiously earned money will be seized and they'll be back to square one so what what really is what's the gain they would have lost everything and they'll be back to square one. I don't really think people like this will change because they are used to living large. They are used to wasting money. They are used to commanding respect from people that hang around them. Those people that think money is all and uh, people that respect ill-gotten money. So they wouldn't be able to live outside that um, clique. So what will happen eventually is they will come out and they will look for something more dubious to do. But... We'll see. We'll know when they come out. We will know how long they will go to prison for. And um, I will always say, it's good to work hard for your money. We do know that Nigerian politicians don't work hard for money. They embezzle our money. They steal our money. But their own justice will still come. De that's definitely certain. All right. So I hope you found this um, video interesting. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments and your questions below. Let's know what your thoughts are. To, uh, sorry. Let's know what your thoughts are about this um, so-called recent arrest of these guys, these fraudulent guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.